So residents near McMurray University are in a debate with the city on whether or not their unique art display is art or not. Our Mercedes Hernandez has more. You are hereby notified to abate the following conditions as stated within the required time frame. This is Ray Rigglesworth, and he is reading a citation given to him by the city of Abilene. Today's my birthday, too. An unfortunate birthday present caused by these outside his home on Ross Avenue, given to him by a friend a decade ago. I put these toilets in about 10 years ago. I couldn't throw them away. They were $1,200. But after an anonymous complaint made through the C Click Fix app, Rigglesworth's art display could go down the drain. I, I don't understand. It's not trashy looking. If it was trash, I would get rid of the trash. I spoke to several neighbors, and while they didn't want to be on camera, they did say they don't like the display, but it should be allowed to stay because, like Rigglesworth, they say art is subjective. I also questioned them about the art downtown that I consider junk. Would they remove that? Probably not. I also spoke to the city on the issue who says its legal department is now looking at the case. And Rigglesworth says he'll do what he needs to follow its rules. I just take him out. But he is holding out for a decision in his favor. Well, I googled it and I came up with like 27 cases of toilets in front yards and they were all dismissed. So you're hoping to be another one? Sure, sure, I hope. In Abilene with coverage you can count on. Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. All right, thank you, Mercedes, for that story. Now, Rigglesworth says the citation states that he has 10 days to get rid of the installation, but depending on what the city's legal department says, they could stay or they could go.